Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, let's see game here, and in this video I'm going to teach you what local variable means in coding. Alright, so let's get straight into the video. Alright, so if you're coding your game and you're wondering what local means. So basically what local means it's a variable so that you don't need to keep on repeating yourself and typing in long lines of code all the time. So if I have a part inside the workspace, um, I can say local part equals game dot workspace dot part. So if I want to change a, a property of the part, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't need to say uh, game dot game dot workspace dot part. Now I can say part dot color then part dot then the thing that you want to change it's just so that you don't need to keep on writing uh, game dot works game dot workspace dot part all the time so it just makes it a lot easier so if I didn't have this variable what I would need to type is game dot workspace dot part part like that but since we do have that variable, we don't need to type in game.workspace the part, we can just type in part, then the property dot, then the property that we want to change. So it's that simple. Also, uh, I'm going to have another example um, when you're in screen GYs. So I'm, I'm going to have a couple of text buttons. This one should be called B1. No, it's not going to be called B1. Uh, button, then this is going to be button 2, like that. And now I'm going to insert a script, a local script, because we're working with the GUIs here. Um, so instead of saying script, dot parent, dot button, and script of parent, dot button 2 all the time. We can ju we can just uh, make a variable for that. So we say local local button one local button one equals script the parent the button. Um, and same goes for this one. Make sure that um, your uh, buttons are different, have a different name, just because um, the script will get confused and. And if you and if you want to change property in this one, if you if you want that, uh, but the script changing properties isn't properties in this one. The reason because you have the buttons that have the same name. So I they're still called button, but on this one I've added two in the end just to make it different, just so that the script doesn't get confused. So make sure that your um whatever it is that you want to work with. Has a different name. All right, so yeah, I, th I think we've pretty much covered everything. All right, so if this video helped and you want to see more little short tutorials like this in the future, then make sure you like, subscribe, and turn the bell, and then be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you want to shout out on one of my videos, then make sure uh, any video suggestion in the comment section down below, and I'll put your comment on screen at the start of that video. All right, so this is going to be it for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.